Today on The Travel Magazine, we will take you beyond the heart of darkness and into the brilliant far reaches of South Africa. On this mysterious journey, we will introduce you to an ancient world where one of Africa's oldest tribes embodies the true meaning of tradition. Amongst the rugged beauty of the Cedarberg Mountains, 250 kilometers north of Cape Town in South Africa lies Kahakama. Amongst these hills, dunes, and in the desert lives a tribe of Bushmen who are willing to share some of their traditions with us. Hi, I'm Jake de Boer. And I'm Mika de Boer, and welcome to Kakagama, the place of the Bushmen. Deep in the heart of the majestic sandstone formations of South Africa lies the forgotten world of Kahakama. The area is almost uninhabited, yet this is where one of the most ancient tribes lives today. Long before the first settlers arrived in the area, the origin of the Bushmen is a mystery lost in the past. Nobody knows where they come from. And we do know that they might be one of the oldest people in southern Africa. And they led the kind of life that the most of our ancestors and forefathers did, is by hunting and gathering. The women were the gatherers and the men were the hunters. More than 20,000 years ago, Long before the first settlers arrived in the area, Kahakama was home to the Bushmen. As settlers moved towards the interior, the Bushmen were driven away from their traditional hunting grounds, threatened with extinction. They fled to the far west desert regions of Africa, which was left untouched by the settlers. They roamed the barren Kalahari Desert, where many continue to exist today. Some 10 years ago, history was reversed, and a reserve was established at Kahakama, where one of the largest single group of Bushmen returned to their place of origin. Here, they observe and rediscover their traditional identity, where they are one with nature and their ancestors. Tell me about the Bushmen as trackers. They are the best trackers in the world. And that's clearly visible. Uh, in such a state that the South African Defence Force employed them some years ago, especially because of their excellent tracking abilities. And how are they as hunters? Very good. And that's an uh, instinct to them, inborn thing. And it's just a thing that comes natural. The nomadic existence of the Bushmen did not allow them to keep livestock, such as sheep or cattle. Instead, they relied completely on the natural habitat of their territory. The Bushmen's diet was a mixture of plants, fruits and berries, as well as the meat of animals such as tortoises and venison. The animal and plant life of Kahakama sets a striking backdrop that is as unique as the Bushmen themselves. Bushmen are a reserved and gentle people, living in harmony with one another and nature. They lived in caves beneath ledges of rock or in small thatched huts made of grass. At Kahakama, we are privileged to gather at a meeting place designated by the Bushmen themselves to witness the harmony of a people historically dependent on one another in their daily struggle for survival. I wonder if they speak Afrikaans. They may speak Afrikaans. Praat Afrikaans? 
Praat jylle? Baie goed. Waar is de pen come from? De verf. Dat is klop. Dat is op de lange verf. Oh, het is een rock dat hij pick up, you know, en dan hij crash het. Ja, als maar een klop is dan. Oh, en dan water erbij. Water. En dan water met het. Zeg maar dat is plant soft. Ja. Be careful, that's a fire. Be careful. Dat is baie mooi. Voor hoeveel jaren terug is die paintings in die rocks hier? Dat is zeker zo een stuk van 20.000 jaar. 20.000 jaar, 20.000 years ago. You think the rock paintings are 20.000 years old? Yeah. And those are your forefathers. That is your forefathers. Ja, dat is die voorvader. Ik heb hier gelopen. Ik heb het zo getekend. En kijk, ons oor was me nog kinder geweest en toen ons maar ook geleerd bij die andere grote mensen. Ja. Dat ons kan die weet, dat ons weer in die omgeving naast kom. Dat ons weet wat om wat op te tel en zo. Hoe is het om hier te wonen in Kachakama? Wat is het like to live hier? Hier zo? Ja. Dat die inkomst een beetje makkelijk gekregen. Ja. Dat is met die goed. Ja. En dat is koud. Die is een baie koud. Baie koud? Het gaat heel koud. En de Kalahari is lekker warm. De Kalahari is warmer, hè? En hier zijn die jaagprocessen zwart. Ja. Dat is het klippen wat ons krijgen hier. Ons kan hier lekker jagen. Want in de Kalahari weet je, daar komt het nog net zand dingen. Oh, in de Kalahari, just sand dunes. So you like that better? It does look a little bit better there. And you are the people of the sand, eh? Ja. You are the people of the sand? Ja, and here is the clip. Clip? That is now a spoor, what is it going to be very far, and then we can have a lot. When we return, We'll explore the ancient rock art of the Bushmen that tells us of their historic past. We will go on a spectacular hunt with the Bushmen. And we will learn how the ostrich contributes to the daily life of the Bushmen. Throughout Kahakama, various rock paintings adorn the walls of caves and boulders. These are the history books of the Bushmen. The paintings are records of animals and people who lived here in historical and prehistorical times. Each painting tells a different story. Today's Bushmen can go back to their ancestral roots by studying the paintings Many depict ancient religious beliefs and practices. As you can see, the most of the paintings here date back very, very long ago. Here you can see like an honeycomb, and this is normally where the bees made their honeycombs. And honey was a very important uh, role in their diet. That was a source of energy. It was like gold to the bushman. Here you can see red hartebeest. Uh, you can see springbok that roamed. Just like we also 
take pictures of a beautiful thing to remember it, they would have made that because that was beautiful to them. Nature was like their visual Bible. Everything that they could see was really, really beautiful. And everything that we know about nature today is inspired by the knowledge of these people. <laughs> Perhaps nothing is more innate to the Bushmen than to hunt. It is an essential skill even to the modern-day Bushmen as they continue to hone this natural ability. In 1990, game was reintroduced and a fair trade was established. The Bushmen could live off the land and in return create ethnic artifacts that symbolize their forgotten heritage. The Bushmen have an intrinsic relationship with another of Africa's unique symbols, the ostrich. Ostrich eggs were essential for survival while they were hunting. They collected the eggs, pierced holes in them, and ate the yolk for nourishment. Afterwards, they would fill the shell with water and bury it in the sand to keep the water cool. They take from nature only what they need to survive with the utmost respect for the land. Later, we'll encounter some ostriches up close and learn more about these large indigenous birds. Kahakama offers a unique experience for visitors to step back into the past. The reserve bears testimony to the harmonious existence between ecotourism and nature. Tourists can stay right in the heart of this natural wonder, observing how Bushmen carry on with their daily lives. The tribe of Bushmen are humble and giving willing to share their age-old skills and traditions with visitors. The Kahakama Reserve has created a traditional environment and lifestyle in which the Bushmen are completely self-sufficient. It has become a reserve of traditions that embodies harmony, community spirit, and natural wonder. Here they live without fear of ever being displaced again. When we return to Kahakama, we'll visit an ostrich ranch and a school established by the Bushmen for their children. We will be back with more of the travel magazine just after this, so stay with us. Here he goes. 
In order to keep their traditions alive, an education system has been brought into the reserve for the children. They teach the skills and crafts so very unique to the life of the Bushmen, along with abilities crucial to Western civilization. The main aim is to get them to read and then of course write and to help themselves in normal life, modern life, um, to work with money, um, to read time and um, obviously if they want to go further there's actually no ne necessity to teach them anything about the field and about science. They know the field exceptionally well. Um, I actually learn from them sometimes. So that's the main aim, to get them to read, write, and some numerical experience. So can I speak to them a little bit? You're welcome to. Luister goeie morgen. Good morning. Good morning. That's good. You can say good morning. Hoe gaan dit? Good. Luister, ek het nou vir julle kom keie. Ek is van Canada. I'm coming from Canada. It's very far from here. But I'm coming to say that we, we are happy to be here. Ons is baie bly dat ons hier is, dat ons vir julle kan sien, want julle, hulle het gesê dat julle kan fantastisch sing. Kan julle sing? Ja. Kan julle vir my een liekie sing? Ja. Can you sing me a song? Because I've heard that you are great singers. Yes. Good. Sing me a song. We This is a mooi. And this is how they tell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the Koi Nama taal. Let's do that. Tell me, count to 6. Tell for me for to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good morning. I must say that this is a real experience and I want to really thank you very much. That's a pleasure. Bye! 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 See Bye. you again! See you! That was a real experience. You know, to meet these children, you know, in this school, and I really enjoyed it. Given the historical relationship between the Bushmen and ostriches, we traveled 350 kilometers southwest to Cape Town to the West Coast Ostrich Ranch. As we saw earlier, the Bushmen were reliant on ostrich eggs for both food and water. The eggs also had an ornamental importance. The tribes would carve designs onto the eggshells and break the shells into beads to make necklaces. Isn't it amazing it's to amazing. stand on an egg like this? Well, two eggs. Two eggs. If we go back six to seven million years ago, they were found in the middle mere, where the dinosaurs were. Because they are part bird, part dinosaur. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, the first ostriches sighted in the latest century was up in Egypt, north of Africa. Okay? Then they migrated down southwards. I mean, the first ostrich farm was actually here in Cape Town, not in Otsun. Everybody believes ostriches come from Otsun. They don't. Now, if you have a good look, you'll see we have a special feed for the babies. It's very similar to what we give the adults, except that it's been ground very, very fine. Because, of course, ostriches have no teeth and no crop. So everything they swallow goes straight to the stomach. So they need to eat pebbles or small stones for their digestive oh. system to work. An adult ostrich has approximately one and a half to two kilos of pebbles in his stomach at all times. That's his digestive system. Yeah. As he runs and walks, as this shakes up, it grinds their food. 
And of course, we supplemented a bit in this in this case with a bit of extra calcium yeah. and a bit of extra protein mm -hmm. just to strengthen the bird, especially the babies. You'll notice they all look very much the same in colour. Yeah. They will change colour after 12 months. After 12 months lifespan, the black feathers of the male start developing and only then do we know whether it's male or female. We don't need to know it before the time because they're only breeding ready at 16 months. Yeah. In other words, they only take partners at 16 months. You say they take partners, do they stay together? Um, they're monogamous, yes, so they take partners and only once in their life. But they're a bit better than that, because if the female had to die, the male will stay alone for the rest of his life, and the other way around. Really? If the male dies, the female will stay a widow for the rest of her life. And they become 65 years of age. They kick incredibly hard, ma'am. Luckily, only forwards. They cannot kick downwards, they cannot really? kick backwards, and they cannot kick sideways. But if you're standing in front of them and they kick you, be prepared to have a striking force of about 190 pounds per square inch. The windpipe is situated right in front of the neck. Okay, behind the windpipe we have this gullet. All right, now a self-defense mechanism built into the ostrich is that this windpipe is completely movable. You can take it and swing it around the neck. What about the other way around? Why do they have that? Well, if you think about it with their striking force of kicking, when they fight, they try and snap each other's necks. The windpipe will move out the way, so they can't sever the windpipe. And the neck is incredibly flexible. So it's a self-defense mechanism. What happens when it kicks, the windpipe moves out the way, and the neck simply bends. And it can bend left, right, backwards, forwards. It makes no difference. Our magical journey has come to an end. But the mystical heritage of the South African Bushmen will remain with us forever. Well, that's it for this edition of The Travel Magazine. Join us again as we travel the world. Oh, very good. Ons blij here, huh? Ons blij here. Now that's very interesting. They are very greedy. Well, if you make any chocolates, they're not going to send out. Ah. Jake! <laughs> Did you see that? I had my hand flat and he took my finger. Take your hands away. Open his feathers a bit. There you go. Huh? This folies de bouger. Okay. Like to hold the neck there, please? I'll hold the neck. And don't strangle it. Don't strangle it, now, please. <laughs> <laughs> we came over the mountain range there. And you know what happened? We came down this road, well, path, and there was a T-junction, and we should have turned left we turned right, we went down this way, and now we, I think, are about here. And frankly, I haven't got a clue where we are. Are you okay? <laughs> You're let you go ahead. Something. Beautiful over okay, there. Look down here. What on earth is this? That? That was the last cameraman we had in South Africa, and he didn't do his job, so there he is. I'll take him with us. I want to take this with me to Canada. Okay. Oh.